right, man, we need to check and see if we are live. I have no idea if we're live or not. We'll see. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if I can get on here and see what's going on. Hope everybody's doing well today. Well, it says we're live. Okay. All right. All right, man. Let me check the uh, audio on this. <laughs> Give people some time to jump in. Hang on just a second. All right, check one, check one. Let's see if we got some uh, audio volume here, I should say. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn it up. Okay. All right. Jamie, what's going on, man? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody's doing well this evening, man. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is uh, the new addition to the family right here. And you can hear those, those clasps clanking. Uh, it is uh, Friday, man. It's October 18th. October 18th. Uh, right here on the Joe Winch Project TV YouTube channel, man. And we got this uh, beautiful uh, Tri-Fade EVH Wolfgang Standard. Uh, first time I've ever owned a Standard. Never owned a Standard before, man. Uh, so... <laughs> it's awesome. It, it, I'm really happy with it. Really happy with it. Uh, wow. Man. Um... I went ahead and went for the uh, eye hooks and the dog clasp or whatever the, whatever the hell you call it. Went for the whole nine yards to try to deck it out a little bit. So uh, let's uh, let me mute this microphone and uh, just give you a uh, chance to hear what it sounds like without all this clanging going on because this microphone picks up everything. So hang on just a second. <laughs> So it's not bad, man. It's not bad for the money at all. You know, um, 
I have uh, two Wolfgang specials, and uh, so this makes the uh, how many EVH guitars do I have? I think this makes number four. Number four, man. Uh, I have a Stripe series. I have two Wolfgang specials, and now this Wolfgang standard. And um, hey, Headstock Harem, what's happening, man? How are you? Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it very much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and I know that uh, what Jason Wade and R two R three Lockinut, they have one, and they said they were very happy with it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the I thought that the uh, pickup selector switch was reverse on uh, on these standards. I thought when it was up, it was the humbucker, and when it was down, it was the neck. Uh, but it's not, uh, this one isn't, uh, when it's down, it's the humbugger and when it's up, it's the neck, uh, just like on the, uh, specials. So you can tell. You can hear that, that change in the tone. So it is, it is not different. Uh, this one isn't anyway, you know, Craig Tullius, man. How are you doing? Thank y'all for jumping in. Yeah, it's, uh, we're, uh, a little bit later than normal. Not that I was planning on going live, but, but, uh, usually I like to jump on about 10 and, uh, we had dinner and, um, cooked on the grill, man, had some steaks and, uh, some mashed potatoes and, uh, what else we have mac and cheese and some homemade barbecue wings and a few uh, cold beverages. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, so I said, man, I need to come in here and play for a little bit. So I got all my pedals out here on the couple of pedal boards going on. So, yeah. T-bones on the grill. Yeah, we we had a uh, uh, New York strips tonight. Uh, I like T-bones as well. Uh, had New York strips tonight, man. Ain't talking about love. Oh my god. <laughs> There you go, Craig. I'm doing good to do that, man. Um, yeah, T-bones are great. Uh, my favorite is ribeyes. Ribeyes, they did not uh, have those available at the grocery store, so I went with the uh, New York strips. That's my second choice. Uh, so it's great. Vintage Sound says it stays in tune perfect. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been trying to play it and stretch the strings, you know, all that cool stuff. Um, also, I want to let you know real quick uh I'm, these polo shirts are now available in my store 
Jason Wade, what in the world? Hey, man, what's going on, Jason Wade? Thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Thank you, Jason, man. I want some dang wings, hamburgers, and grilled hot dogs. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, these new shirts are available in my store, man. These are the polo style uh, Joe Wentz Project uh, shirts. They just became available recently, so uh, they're very comfortable, and I I very much uh, like them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much, man. That's very kind of you. Yeah, the uh, Wentz and Wade uh, original songs. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, those are uh, those are a lot of fun. Um, this past week has been so busy uh, for me, man. I I had a the whole week was just a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on with work. That's what it is. Work is what's taking up all my time and I can, I can never do this, you know, um, I had a bad night last night. I, uh, got held up with the, uh, load, I had to wait three and a half hours for my load. I didn't get home till like seven fifteen, seven thirty this morning. And, uh, the sun was coming up really well. And man, I was just, I was like a zombie. So <laughs> I about slept half the day away anyway, but we're here. We made it. We're here. And uh, but thank you, uh, Jamie. Yeah, the uh, doing the collaborations with uh, Mark Wade is a lot of fun. Uh, big shout out to Mark Wade, man. Uh, his video editing is incredible. I mean, it's just I'm s speechless when it comes to that. Um, uh, hey, Soda, what's going on, man? How are you, sir? Thank you for jumping in, man. Uh, you've changed your name again. It says Soda and Milk. <laughs> I think it was a. Uh, soda before and then soda pop or something i, I could be wrong uh, i could be mistaken but anyway hey man thank you for being here yeah uh let's see um but yeah the collaborations with mark wade hopefully we have more of those coming it's just uh you know mark is very uh he's very understanding uh with how uh my work schedule is and and he's he's really He's really cool with that. He knows how it is, man. He's he works too, you know. So it's a, uh, it's just tough, man. It's just it's <laughs> work gets in the way of your dreams. I think he said in in the uh, one of the songs we done. I think you know. So it's uh, but it's uh, um, it's a lot of fun doing that because it's a it's a different it's a different thing altogether, you know, when you're working with in a collaboration with somebody. So, uh, uh, makes things pretty fun. You know, um, when this, uh, live stream is over, I'm going to release a video that, uh, of a song, uh, that I actually recorded a long time ago, man, probably about 10 years ago. Uh, <laughs> the name of the song is flying. So high is the name of the song. Um, and it, it was actually released on iTunes and stuff way back then, but uh, the production quality was not that great. Um, back then, I thought it was good, but as the years progress, you go back and listen to that stuff, and it's like, man, that is, uh, that's not cutting it. <laughs> so I was going back, listening to some of my old library of, of songs that I've recorded, and I used to really uh, write a lot of songs back in, you know, eight, 10 years ago, I was writing a lot of songs. Uh, but uh, as time progressed, uh, my work schedule has kind of cut that out, you know? So, uh, but anyway, when this live stream is over, I'm going to release that video. Um, I've worked on it for about two weeks, trying to do a little bit here, a little bit there. And, and, uh, uh it's like I said, it's just tough to do, but anyway, it's finally done. And I'm going to release it when this live stream is over. So if you're still here and the live stream is done, stick around. And the, uh, I guess the uh, premiere of that uh, video will be coming after this. It's called Flying So High. It's an original I wrote, like I said, about 10 years ago. Uh, so you'll just have to watch the video to check it out, you know. 
and uh, I hope you do. You know, <laughs> hope you can check it out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I don't get to uh, do originals like I used to because I just it, to write lyrics and all that. You know, it's hard enough to write the music, but then when you have to write lyrics too and put all the changes into place, it's uh, well for me, it's not as easy as I thought. You know. Like I said, I did that for quite a few years, trying to get familiar with songwriting and song structure and all that stuff, how to build a song. And uh, uh, But anyway, we'll see how it goes, man. Maybe we'll uh, get some good feedback on it, I hope. Let's, uh, let's check the chat here. Here on the, uh, here on the Joe Woods Project TV, we love to include the chat, uh, keep y'all a part of the show, as we always try to do. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me see. Whoa, man, let's chat's moving. Thank you very much. Um, Jason Wade sounds hope you thank you, Jason, man. Uh, we need some drone videos. How's the weather? <laughs> I haven't flown the drone in quite some time. Uh, we're supposed to get some heavy rain tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's been dry here, except rain finally hit, uh, what was it, last week? We finally got some rain. And uh, it's supposed to rain here starting in the morning, I think, uh, like all day into Monday. So we need the rain. We could use it. We could use it. Uh, uh, Soda, what would you say? I, I, I think I missed it. You said you changed your name? The chat moved on me, so I kind of missed it. Uh, Soda says, cool, Joe, I want to hear those originals. Yeah, right now there's just the one. Um, uh, but uh, we'll uh, bring back oh, Road Rage. Craig Tullius, yeah, you, there was an original I did back then called Road Rage. I don't even know. Excuse me. I don't even know. I haven't heard that song in forever, man. I don't even know if I can play that again. <laughs> a lot of stuff I just did on the fly and then just kind of forgot how to play it. You know? Uh, Jason Wade, you will have to AB the standard with your special and let me know. Uh, and, and let me know if you think the pickups sound better or worse. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been doing, Jason. I've been trying to uh, figure if the... I've always... Uh, I heard that the pickups were same, the same as in the uh, specials as they are in here. I wish R2 was in here. He he would, or somebody, somebody that uh, has had a standard longer than I have. I, I, somebody told me that the pickups were the same. But I want to say no. I want to say these are a little bit, just a little bit, uh, I'm telling you, man, because in my specials, those pickups are hot, man. And these don't seem as hot. Um, Granted, you know, I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not a guitar tech. I'm not an expert. I'm not a specialist. I don't know. But um, it seems these are just a little bit uh, less hot. Is that the right term? I don't know. But it still, it still plays great. The neck is freaking incredible. I think, I think that's where the money is on this thing is the neck uh, and the, uh, the body and now the the trim is uh the trim low is just a regular standard uh trim. no detuna on this no detuna at all which is fine because i don't use the detuna at all um i don't i don't use it uh let's see uh, let's get back to the chat real quick um holy smoke let's see do you feel much difference between the wolfgang special and the flat top on the standard uh mark taylor hey man i ain't seen you in a long time um but i've never played a standard yeah this is my first time man first time having a standard um it feels incredible uh absolutely feels uh, just jaw-dropping I, I was really shocked at the quality I, I i wasn't expecting that man uh but it plays great it plays i mean it's so close to the special i mean i'm i'm really shocked at how close it is to the special uh, but i feel just my my gut feeling is telling me that these pickups aren't quite as hot as the specials uh, again don't hold me to that 
but it just seems that way to me, you know. Uh, so <clears throat> let's see. Uh, man, the chat's moving. Uh, it just sounds cool name for a song, Joe. Uh, what's that? Flying so high. That's the oh the other song, Road Rage. Uh, was that what it was? I can't remember my own stuff. That's been so long ago. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it. Uh, Jason Wade. My standard pickups sound different. They are both good but different. Yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of feeling right now. You know. Soda said he got frost last night for uh, the weather. It got frost. Wow. Okay, man. Okay, let's see here. Bo Zeke. Hey, man, haven't seen you in a while. I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't been on, done a stream in quite some time. Wow, Joe, I, uh, I've been thinking of getting that exact one myself. Really? Yeah, this is called a, uh, I think it's called a tri-fade. I mean, look at that. That that finish is just incredible. It reminds me of, it puts me in the mind frame of Jason Wade's uh, Jackson. He's got that, uh, Jason, I can't remember the name of that color for your Jackson. You have to chime in on the chat. I cannot remember, but it kind of has that same kind of idea to me as Jason Way's Jackson. But, uh, yeah, it feels great, man. I love it. Sorry for the, the, the uh, clasp here clanging around. Uh, that's one thing I could say. I ordered the, uh, eye hooks and the strap, uh, all these the accessories for your strap uh when you put these eye hooks in it makes the holes bigger uh where the old screws were for your old uh, strap buttons or whatever so when you put these in uh, if you take these back out you can't put those old old ones back in because they, they're not going to fit you know so yeah let's see here people are saying hey to everybody else all right man is there something wrong with having to refresh? Uh, no, there's nothing on this end, Soda. It might be you might have to go out of YouTube and come back in. I'm not. I don't see no uh, nothing going on on my end. No spinning circle or nothing. So you might have to go out of YouTube completely and come back in. Uh, yeah, Caribbean Blue. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, Caribbean Blue. Jason, thank you for being in here, man. I haven't seen you in a, one of these things in a long time. Thank you for taking the time to be in here, man. Whenever Jim Gidry gets in here, we'll get you a uh, $50 gift card for Guitar Center. <laughs> you notice Jim ain't in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Caribbean Blue, that is a beautiful uh, Jackson that... Uh, finish he has on that is just uh unbelievable vintage sounds jamie said it's like a tiger flame top yeah it is yeah <clears throat> bo zeke said it reminds me of the uh, 1990s amber pv wolfgangs but even cooler looking with the faded finish yeah i agree man that, that's what really caught my eye right off the bat i was like holy crap yeah from what I looked at, I thought it was the best looking standard what they had to choose from. I mean, they had the, you know, black and all your regular colors and this one here. And I was just like, damn, I said, man, that looks sharp, man. You know, uh, Craig Julius, I hope EVH is doing well. He is in hiding, uh, not much info on his health problems. Yeah. I was going to talk about that, man. Um, I was going to touch on that rather. Uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody that's in this little community here, everybody's heard by now that Eddie, uh, has been traveling to Germany for, uh, treatments for, uh, throat cancer, I, I believe. Um, uh, but I heard a couple of days ago that he was actually going over there for surgery. Uh, that's what I saw on actually on YouTube. Now, you know, can I prove that? No, I can't prove it at all. That's just what I heard. But uh, I uh, I hope that uh, he gets well soon. Absolutely. I mean, Eddie was the reason I picked up the guitar. And um, that's really why I wanted to 
get this this last EVH. This is my last hoorah as far as an EVH guitar goes. And and when I heard about Eddie, uh, I said I got to get one more EVH guitar, man. Just you know, um, just because of his influence on me. Uh, you can hear his influence all day long in my plan. You know, it's just, I mean, it's unmistakable. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I was sad to hear that. I was like, you know, now we know why, uh, there's been no activity with the, uh, Van Halen camp. And then David Lee Roth kind of going out lately, uh, on these radio shows, kind of talking about, uh, Van Halen's done. And he, he kind of, to me, he kind of was talking smack a little bit, you know, and I was like, I bet Dave feels like kind of a jerk right now after finding out that uh, Eddie is going through these treatments and Eddie, you know, can't do anything because he's going through treatments. You know what I mean? I just, I was like, damn, man, I was, I was like, wow, Dave, come on, man. You know, I don't know the man. Uh, maybe he knows something that we don't, but, but I hope that, uh, I hope he gets well soon. Eddie gets well soon. I really do, man. I mean, he's, I mean, it doesn't matter what you, what you want to think, whether, uh, you think the David Lee Roth era was better or the Sammy era was better or, uh, you know, all that bullshit aside, that doesn't matter right now. The main thing is he gets healthy. I mean, come on, man. He's a human being at the end of the day and he's going through a lot of crap right now. And, and, uh, the well wishes would, uh, would, uh, be very uh well received i would think i would it would make me you know feel really good you know if, if i was going through some crazy shit like that you know and somebody was uh people were sending me well wishes it would make you you know feel very humbled you know at, in the least right uh but you know i do hope he gets better man i really do i was sad to hear that and i was like holy shit man you know, so uh, I just hope he gets better. And I'm sure Alex is right by his side the whole time, you know, because him and Alex are are really, really tight, man, really tight. And it's kind of weird when this was going on. I don't know if anybody else noticed this. Jim Gidry, what's going on, man? I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but, um, you know, when this was going on, uh, when these reports were coming out, it was right when Sammy was having his Cabo Wabo birthday bash right at that same period. And I said, man, is that not ironic or what? I mean, they haven't spoke in so long. Uh, computer's going dark. Sammy and, and Eddie have, have not, Hey, Mitch, Mitch Heyman, I haven't seen you in forever, man. Blackie, what's going on, Blackie? Thank y'all for jumping in. Hope you're doing well. Um, But Sammy and Eddie have not spoke for so long, right? And um. And then this happens right when Sammy's birthday bash is going on. Eddie's, the reports of Eddie Van Halen come out at the same time. And I'm like, you know, Sammy has heard about what's going on. Does he reach out to Eddie again or does he lay back? Kind of makes you wonder, you know, I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Michael Anthony, is he going to reach out or is he going to lay back? I don't know. I would hope so. I know Sammy has reached out before, but I hope that he does it again. I really do. I hope he does it again, man. I mean, come on. You can't deny those great songs of the Van Hagar era. They have been ignored for so long. Well, this chat is moving now, so let's uh, see if we can keep up with what's going on here. See if we can see what's happening. Um, hey, Johnny Bean, thank you, man. Jim Gidry, what's happening, man? Uh, Jim Gidry, thank you. Uh, my standard is the Zilla Burst. My special is the Ivory with the Ebony Fred. That's right. I forgot, Jason. You have a special as well. That's right. Yeah. Well, like you said, they they kind of are a little different, aren't they? The these pickups. I, I think the pickups in the standard aren't as hot. They are. They're hot, but they're not. They're not as. They're not on that same level. Excuse me. You know what I mean? Like the special is up here and the standards kind of down here as far as the the pickups being hot. I mean, just for me, I don't know. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for jumping in. Uh, soda. Yep. Roth kind of. Uh, 
<laughs> kind of did a dick move. Yeah, I thought it was too, man. Uh, I was kind of like, dang, Dave, come on, man. And, uh, you know, Dave, man, he wants that spotlight all for him, right? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah jim gidry is the present account what now oh he's present and accounted for you you uh left the d out there jason you put a and s at first i thought you was typing ams i was like oh, what <laughs> but i think you meant a and d present and accounted for yeah jim gidry uh jason wade's waiting on his gift card man you in charge of that uh, Bozik, I'll be devastated if EPH passes away. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got, there's different reports going on, uh, that I see on my Google saying that he's in his last days. Valley Bertinelli goes to visit him and that's what's coming up on my feed on my phone. I was like, what? I was like, huh? And, uh, so I don't know, man. I hope it's not as bad as the headlines are making it out to be. I, God almighty, I hope not. Cause this really just kind of took me swept me off my feet man i was like what the hell uh man let's see here ed dana what's up man mitch Heyman, i lost a lot of weight that's probably why <laughs> really did you really mr Heyman? you went on and you lost some weight well good for you congratulations man that's awesome 2019 chaos music hi joe just arrived what happened Oh, I thought you were in here already. 2019 Chaos Music. Yeah, we're talking about Eddie Van Halen, his health issues uh, that's been in the uh, all over the news as far as um, Google and YouTube and stuff. Uh, he's having some health issues, man, with uh, getting treatments for his throat cancer. Uh, uh, there's been different uh, reports. Uh, some reports are saying that he's like on his deathbed and some reports are saying that he's just getting treatment. There's other reports saying he's getting surgery. So I don't know what to believe. I, I have no idea. Uh, but I, I wish him well. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's my hero, you know? So I hope, I hope he's, I hope everything's okay. You know how they do in the Van Halen camp, man, they keep everything on the down low, you know, and until things have to be, talked about i guess you know um let's see we're finally getting along with these uh all righty man just looking at the chat here trying to catch up Bozik says, Joe, uh, they are foreign-made pickups wound to the same specs as the American Wolfgang pickups. The Special and USA Wolfgangs both have the American pickups. Okay, so these are foreign-made pickups, so they don't quite have the punch that the Special and the USA. Okay, I was about to say, because I heard, I, you know, like I said, I... You know, things get crossed up sometimes. And I was like, I thought I heard somebody say that this pickups in the standard was the same as the special. And I'm sitting here playing and I'm like, there's no way, you know, there's, there's just no way. But other than that, it's a, uh, fantastic guitar. I mean, you know, I have no, nothing bad to say. Um, let's see here. Uh, All the stories on Google are BS, Johnny says about EVH. See, I, I don't, that's why I'm, that's why I've been taking that stuff with a grain of salt. I don't, I, I have no way of proving anything. And I was just kind of like, what? You know, I was like, what the hell? Because here's what kind of threw a red flag for me. Let me just say this real quick. Uh... <laughs> The, what got me was Janie Van Halen tweeted something a couple of days ago about, I, I mean, I didn't even look at the tweet, but uh, it come up on my notification bar on my phone. And she was like, I think she was talking about maybe something that she had done in her house. I don't know. She was talking about something was the lighting or something. And I thought, hang on. If Eddie is having surgery or having something done in, it's at, the, at this present time, why would his wife be tweeting about, interior decorations on Twitter. That doesn't make any sense. You know, 
if your spouse is, is having some kind of major thing going on, uh, your wife wouldn't be tweeting about something completely left field like that. So that's what threw a red flag for me. I was like, wait a minute, man, that don't, that don't make sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. You know, she should be, uh, if anything, tweeting about her husband's progress, you know, or telling everybody, thank you for your well wishes or something. But, uh, it was something totally, I was like, what interior, what interior lighting, something, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. It, I would just, man, that's something, man. Thank you, Blackie. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. He says, good looking guitar, dude. Thank you very much. Mitch Heyman has lost about 73 to 76 pounds. Man, I could I could lose about 30 myself. Mr. Heyman, congratulations, man. That is an um, that is a major major accomplishment, man. Ed Dana says Eddie will live. Yes, absolutely. He sure will. Bozik says uh, we lost so many great artists over the last few years. Prince, David Bowie, Eddie Money, uh, the dude from the cars, yeah, Rico Kasich, yeah. So I couldn't stand to hear EVH is next. Uh, not now, please. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It's, I was really sad to hear, especially about Eddie Money as well. You know, and what's crazy is when I did a video, I guess, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, I did the video on this. I did a video, God, wait, on this channel. It said four songs with four different guitars, right? And the very last song was Two Tickets to Paradise by Eddie Money. The very next day, Eddie Money died. I heard it on the, you know, it was on my phone. Eddie Money passes away. I was like, what? I heard that he wasn't doing well, but that's really why I put that song at the very end, just as a, a tribute to him. But my God, I didn't know he was in that bad of health. I thought maybe he was, you know, going to pull through. And then the next day, he's, I get the, the news that he passed away, Eddie Money. I was like, are you kidding me? So it was, I was like, yeah, it's sad. Soda, what am I playing through? I'm playing through uh, actually the, uh, the Zoom G1X4. Uh, you can get that for like 99 bucks. It's a, a new Zoom... A small guitar effects processor for about a hundred dollars uh i have a small pedal board in front of it you got the zoom and then after the zoom i got my um another pedal board with my delay units and reverbs uh, so i'm kind of making a homemade effects loop there right and that's what we're playing through and uh so yeah I've been playing this G1X4 for quite some time. I have not played my Yamaha tr 10 x in months. And uh, I don't mean that to be bad. You know, it's just this right here is so easy uh, to set up. It's just poop, poop, and you're done. You know, it's, uh, I enjoy it very much. So I even pulled out my old uh, MXR flanger and put it on the this uh, chain over here. So, yeah. <laughs> I haven't I have not used that flanger in forever. It's been sitting uh uh in another location for some time. And um, I haven't even, I said, I need to hook up this flanger into this pedal chain just, to, you know, for a little added accent here and there, right? So, uh, and we got the, uh, also on this, after the Zoom, we got the uh, the chorus and the Mimic. Here's the Mimic. I, I, I talk about this all the time because this pedal is great. It's like a doubler, right? So here, this is before. And this is after. So I love that uh, that doubling effect, kind of that Randy Rhodes kind of flavor, kind of sorta. You know, gives you that double track sound without actually having the double track. <laughs> technology right 
Uh, let's see if we can get back to the chat. Uh, 2019 Chaos Music. Wow, Joe, uh, half hour ago I was showing my brother a video from you playing some Van Halen seriously, and he said he's good. And now this info on Eddie. Yeah, thank you, 2019 Chaos. Appreciate you uh, showing the videos. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, I, I I don't have any proof. Shifty, hey, man. I've uh, been following your uh, Instagram post, man. Thank you for being here, sir. Uh, yeah, I don't have any proof about the Eddie uh, stories that have been going on. I'm just I'm just saying what I have seen on my Google on my phone. Uh, but uh, they're saying that he's not doing well, and some reports are saying he's having treatment. Some reports are saying uh, this and that. I, who knows, man? Uh, but. Uh, Either way, I hope I just hope he's all right, man. Craig Tullius, Joe, what is the hardest VH song you struggle playing with? Oh my god, I'm doing good to play anything. Period. Uh, <laughs> so, I would say for me, you know, a lot of the stuff I play, especially the Van Halen stuff, is, and I've said this before, because people on YouTube can be such dickheads, you know, and they wanna they want to analyze every little microscopic thing that you and i'm like dude really you know i'm like i've said time and time again i can't play this shit note for note i just kind of play what sounds close to me and that's that's far as i take it but to answer your question mr tullius uh the song that i've struggled with that i've tried to get close to and i know it's not spot on like i've said before but the song i've tried to get close to was hot for teacher and uh that song I have to I have to mess with it for um quite a while before I feel comfortable even giving it a shot. I've done it here live a couple of times. Uh but I love that song. Uh but man, there's a lot going on in that song. Uh for me, there's a lot going on in that song, but it's it's a kick ass song, you know? Uh so uh, there's plenty of other Van Halen songs that I even tried to to mess with it because I'm like, I can't play that man, you know? <laughs> so I just, uh, but hunt for teacher is the one that I struggle. Uh, one time I sat in here, uh, one day, I, this was probably a few months ago. I sat in here for like three hours solid, just going over that song, just trying to get the basic premise down and all that. I mean, the tapping, let alone the tapping is hard. The spread on that is just incredible. I'm like, Eddie is incredible the way he comes up with this stuff, you know, I'm like, and just think I'm trying to learn how to play his song. And he played it night after night after night on the 84 tour. Like it was nothing. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know, you, you try to learn somebody else's song, whether it's Van Halen or whoever, Eddie money, it don't matter. And just try to learn how to play it. Just, you know, a little bit of it. And you'll gain a lot of respect for that guitar player real quick. Because when you just listen to something, that's a lot different to, uh, until you get a guitar in your hand and then try to, you know, learn what's going on, the mechanics of everything. That's a that's a totally different ball game, you know. So, uh, you know, it's a it shows you really quick <clears throat> how good that artist uh, is. You know, it's just like holy shit, man. Where do they come up with this? You know, but. You know, um, let me see, uh, back to the, uh, back to the chat, uh, so this is more thumbs ups. Yeah, I don't see any thumbs ups <laughs> on my end, uh, but whatever, man, uh, you know, it is what it is. So this is sounds killer. Joe. Thank you, man. Uh, Mitch Heyman, uh. Again, congratulations on your weight loss, man. That's incredible. Uh, the thing is, all of our rocker heroes are up in age. I grew up in the 60s, 70s. Thank goodness we had uh, we had, and still have some of those guitar heroes. Yes. Uh, recently, uh, thank you, Mr. Heyman, for that comment. I, I, I agree. You know, recently, Eric Clapton just did his Crossroads Festival. Um, 
And the reason I know that is that people were posting videos of it on YouTube. And I was like, man, I was not expecting another Crossroads Festival from Eric Clapton. But people were saying his his playing was phenomenal. You know, he was, uh, it was great. You know, and um, man, I was like, thank God, you know, because Eric Clapton, he's what? What is he, man? Like 74 or something? He's in his 70s, right? I could have the number wrong, but but still, you know, he's doing he's doing his deal, man. But yeah, you're right, Mr. Heyman. There's so many artists that, that are getting up there. I mean, look at Jimmy Page is still around. That's incredible. Especially after the lifestyle he lived when he was younger, right? Um Sammy Hagar, he just turned 72. Was it 72 he just turned? Or 73? Man, I don't even know. Uh I want to say he's the same age as my father. I know I'm the same age as his son, Aaron. We're the same age. We're just uh, a few months apart. And that's crazy to think that Sammy is my father's age. That is crazy. Man. Um, let's see. Uh, Mitch Heyman, it's a hard song to learn. Oh, yeah. You talking about Hot for Teacher? Or did I miss something here? This chat is moving. Let's see. Yeah, when we lose Jimmy Page, that's going to be hard, Mr. Mark Taylor says. Yeah, man. Black, he says, hey, just play your uh, interpretation, Joe, better that way. That's what I've always felt. But a lot of people that, you know, have a cocky-ass attitude, they don't look at it that way. They think, you know, oh, you uh, you didn't do it right. I'm like, you know, man, whatever. You know, come on, man. You get on here and you do it, you know. <clears throat> Uh, wait a minute. What is this now? Uh, Soda says, I just uh, just finished scalloping my Ibanez fretboard uh, from 22 to 14 uh, fret tonight. Wow, man. I've never played. I've held a scallop fretboard, and I when I felt it, I put it right back on the, on the hanger. I didn't like the way that felt. But uh, hey, man, more power to you. If you can play a scallop fretboard, I don't, uh, to me, I just... Uh, I didn't like, I mean, I did sit down. It was in a pawn shop, believe it or not, years ago. And I was like trying to do the chords on it. And it just sounded like it was out of tune because they say you can't, you have to have a light touch. And I couldn't, I just couldn't grasp it. And I was like, man, screw this. I put it back on the hanger, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was so many years ago. Uh, uh, yeah, man, scallop. Uh, hey man, that's cool. Uh, Ingve does that a lot, right? Wow. That's crazy. Islander Winder. I bought a Purple Burst Wolfgang Standard this spring, and I love it. Those guitars are amazing. I'll underwinder with the uh, uh, testimonial, right? Unsolicited testimonial, as they say. Awesome, man. Jason Wade, uh, what are your favorite songs by Van Halen? Uh, different Kind of Truth. I did not like that album, Mr. Wade. Uh, different Kind of Truth. I could not. I just didn't like that album at all. I, I just... I listened to it once and not one song grabbed me. I was like, are you kidding me? You know, cause can I just be blunt? Dave just don't have it no more, man. I mean, you know, much as I was hoping he did, man, he just, I was like, nah, the hell with this, man. He just didn't do nothing for me. You know, I believe in telling it straight on this channel. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you straight up, you know, but I didn't like it, but, uh, I didn't like a different kind of truth, uh, Mr. Wade. Um, there's plenty of other Van Halen songs I like, you know, but, but that one I didn't like. I just, I, it, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that like that album. It just didn't grab me. I just was like, man, this is what? And I don't know, man, how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. It just didn't grab me, man. Um, Okay, we're getting caught up on the chat here. Eric Clapton is 74, Mr. Heyman says. Wow, okay. Vintage Sounds, uh, Sammy is 72. Wow, so he's only two years younger than Eric Clapton. Ain't that crazy? Charlie Watts is 80. Man, hot for teacher. Okay, Mr. Heyman, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that is a tough song. I mean, it's it's hard for me, man. I mean, it, mm. I mean, it's just, just doing that right there is a struggle for you, man. Uh, yeah, uh, 
2019 Chaos Music. Yeah, Sammy turned 72 five days ago. Ain't that something, man? Crazy. Shifty says, Jimmy's got 20 years left. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, Craig Tullius, the guys from The Who are up in age also. Yes, they are. Pete Townsend, how old is he now? Is he the same age as Eric Clapton, I would imagine? I think. Hang on just one second. Let me mute this. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Soda is a fantastic shredder. Hey, man, you need to put some of that on Instagram, Soda. I want to check that out. That's awesome, man. Um, Vintage Sounds, I agree. Nobody plays note for note. Uh, live from the studio is completely different. Uh, seen Jimmy Page live. He played whatever he wants with his solos. There you go. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, Zeke says, Tattoo was good on the album and uh, Chinatown. Didn't love the rest of it. Uh, you and your blues was an okay tune too. Bozik chimes in about uh, the latest Van Halen album, A Different Kind of Truth. Jason, I didn't, I wasn't trying to upset you, man. You know, where'd you go? <laughs> it's just, you know, everybody's got an opinion, man. That's just mine, you know. Uh, let's see. Keith Richards is, is 100, Jamie said. Oh, man. Uh, Mitch Heyman, man, whoa. Uh, no, I'm not. I appreciate those are kind words, but no way, man. There's no, I'm just a, I'm just somebody that uh, likes to have fun. I'm not in that category at all, but thank you. That's very kind of you, but man, I appreciate it. You're too, way too kind, man. Way too kind. Basically, Mick Jagger is older than dirt. Keith Richards is dirt. <laughs> Oh, Fozzy, you're crazy, man. You're crazy, man. That's too funny. A song man let's let's play a song let's try to play a song right stick around don't go anywhere let's see what we can do here and let's give this baby a test run jason where are you oh, there he is i'm just playing uh my guitar as well as listening well thank you jason i'm glad you're still here brother all right man We're, let's give a let's see what we can do i don't know Stick around, please.
man, a little ZZ top on the standard. So now you can get to hear what she sounds like, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> I think my battery's going dead in my phaser. Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it don't. That's kind of weird. I just put new batteries in it. <laughs> it might be the cable or something. Who who knows, man? Uh, let's see if we can get to the chat here. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Soda Man. Appreciate it very much. Joe, <laughs> Joe Gibbons. <laughs> Billy Gibbons, he's another one that's kind of up there in age, right? That uh I saw a thing on YouTube about ZZ Top. Uh, let me move this a little bit. Um what was a two or three weeks ago. They what they were celebrating like uh I don't know, was it forty or fifty years of music? I I could have that number totally wrong. But I didn't realize they've been around that long. Man. So, yeah, that's great, man. Uh, thank you, uh, 2019 Chaos. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you so much. Jason Way, thank you, man. Thank you, Soda. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Um. Craig Tullius, please do more collaboration songs, uh, videos with your son. Um, you play well together. Uh, we are doing that next Friday, Mr. Tullius. Uh, ironic that you say that. It's, uh, yeah, we're supposed to get together next Friday and, uh, try to jam a little bit. Absolutely. Thank you, Bozik. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, man. Billy Shelton. I didn't even see you in here. Billy Shelton, how are you doing, man? Uh, I guess you popped in here when I was playing. I didn't see it. Um, I hope you're doing well, Billy. Thank you, man, for being in here. I don't think Jason has a scalloped fretboard on any of his guitars. I could be wrong, but I don't think he does. Uh, does the Floyd feel cheap on the standard? Not to me, it doesn't. Uh, it feels great to me. You know, it feels great. Doesn't feel cheap to me at all. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, Jason says he has a friend that has a scallop fretboard. Okay, all right. Yeah, man. Okay, so... All righty. How long have we been on now? Well, so we got time for one more. Sixty-two minutes. Thank you, Jason. Craig Tullius, thank you, man. Thank you for being here so much. Thank you. We'll do one more, okay? We'll do one more. Another classic. <laughs>
another great classic rock, Steve Miller, another one who's probably up there pretty well, I would imagine, uh, goes on tour every year in the summer. Steve Miller still making major bank from those great songs, and uh, why not, right? Uh, I love those songs, man. Fabulous song. <laughs> Let's check the chat. We're getting ready to wrap this up here in just a moment. And uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 do. How's the neck feel compared to the special? Um, It feels, to me, it feels just a touch thinner. I mean, the neck feels incredible on the standard. I was just, that was the first thing I noticed. I was like, what? I was like, man, and, you know, that's what I've always loved about the EVH guitars, man. It's just, I mean, it's, it, it, it feels like it was made for my hands, you know, not to sound weird or, you know, like, you know, nobody else can't play it. That's not what I'm saying, but it's just, I don't know, man. It's like everything, every detail was really fine tuned when Eddie did all this, this whole thing years and years ago. And I was like, man, he was on the money. It just goes to show how <laughs> much of a genius the man is, you know, innovator and everything. But yeah, the neck seems a little bit slimmer on than the special, not by much, but just, uh, just very little, but you can tell, uh, let's see here. Steve Miller. Yeah, man. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. <laughs> Eddie Van Joe Miller. <laughs> God almighty. Uh, 2019 Chaos Music. The good old rock songs. Man, yes, absolutely. Soda says, kill a, kill a later, y'all. Thank you, Soda, for being here, man. God bless you. Thank you. Jason Wade says, woohoo. <laughs> Jason Wade, uh, Blackie. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you as well, my friend. Thank you for being here so much. Uh, how does one get the balance era sound? Wow, what a great question. Ah, man, there's got to be, uh, be a way you can dial that in with um, with some patches or something with some without having to drop a lot of money. I would say... Um, <sighs> Try to Google, uh, Google that. I'm sorry, not Google. Try to YouTube that. So to, I would, I'm sure there's plenty of tutorial videos on how to dial in different Van Halen era sounds. I couldn't tell you, my friend, on the balance era sound. I, I, I love, I love that sound though. I love that sound. <laughs> I just, uh, this right here is just a preset that was in the Zoom G1X4 called MS High Gain, and I love it. I was like, damn, that sounds good. You know, I said, you can use that for just about anything, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't know, dialing in a certain tone, like the balance, ooh, that would be awesome. Um, Bobby Clipper, hey, man, how you doing? 
Uh, he says, love watching you play, Joe. Uh, your fills make all your songs your own. Thank you so much, man. That's very kind, Mr. Clipper. Thank you so much. Very kind of you, man. Uh, <laughs> thank you, 2019 Chaos. Thank you, man. I appreciate your kind words, too. Everybody has been... Yeah, so I'm sorry I couldn't give you the answer you was wanting, man. I'm, 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 I really don't know. I mean, I, uh, and believe me, and when I'm looking for something, the first place I go to is YouTube. That's the first place I go to, man. And I uh, search. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's guitar related or something with one of uh, my wife's car or my truck. I'll go to YouTube, man. And I, I'm telling you, every time, you know, Google or YouTube, you know, I'll go to one of those, you know. Uh, uh, let's see. Soda's like, okay, thanks. Thanks a lot, dude. You didn't help me do shit. I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. I don't really know. I really don't. Uh, man. Uh, Bozik, a little more, a little more gain in the nineties on Eddie's, uh, rig and the, uh, flange and face, uh, sound a little bit brighter to me. Uh, Spongier in the eighties, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Uh Shifty says pound cake is what I like uh the best in the nineties. Yeah, that tone on that. Oh my god. I knew he was using um he was using the fifty one fifties then, I think. Right. You can you can see barely see in the frame here the uh fifty one fifty head in the cabinet. That is the uh, the original fifty one fifty uh with the Eddie uh, signature stamp on the front of the uh, face of the amp there. Uh, so I'm sure he was using those. Um, I believe he was using the Music Man guitars then uh, in that time period. Uh, as far as pedals and stuff, uh, I don't even know. Man, I couldn't tell you. I, I'm not one of those that dissects all that stuff because I just want to play. You know, I, I couldn't tell you what the radius of something is or, you know, what somebody was using on such and such tour or what, what kind of beverage they were drinking on a 79 tour. Fuck if I know. I just want to play. <laughs> that stuff don't mean shit to me. You know, but that's just, you know, there's all kind of different fans out there. You got the diehard fans and you got people like me that just they just want to play and, and try their best to play some of these songs to the best of my ability. Uh, because those songs, like these two songs I played tonight, are part of my youth. You know, I heard these songs all the time growing up, man. I thought these songs were phenomenal. And it, and uh, when I got older and got my first guitar and, and the uh, Christmas Eve of 86, I just kept daydreaming about being able to play or coming close to playing some of these songs. You know, and... um. And, and still today, it's it's close. It's not spot on, but it's close. It's in the ballpark. But how many bar bands out there, you know, do this? Do what I'm doing? They're doing the same thing, you know, and they're just playing what they think feels right to them, you know. I mean, you know, I work for a living, you know, so I mean, it's not a. I'm not in a tribute band. I just Joe, the Joe Wentz Project TV is just me, right? Just me, myself, and I. But I have fun on this channel have fun playing music and I have fun, uh, uh, connecting with these fine folks in the chat here that take the time to come watch this. So I really appreciate you being here. We're getting ready to wrap this up y'all. I know it's getting late. Um, uh, uh, correct, uh, correct switch to Soldano's from Marshall's first, then the PV 5150 and the Music Man guitars by 9091. Okay, yeah. I knew Soldano's was in there somewhere. I, I heard uh, on YouTube somewhere that Soldano was uh, allegedly, let me throw that word out there, was alleged by saying that Eddie stole the circuit from the Soldano head to put in his 5150. Now, that's what I heard, uh, a report say on YouTube, on, on some YouTube video. And I was like, wow, damn, that's a pretty strong allegation, man. Because I know he played Soldano's for a while, and then he come out with his own thing. I don't know. You know, who the hell knows? You know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, he still is uh, my favorite guitar player, and the music and everything he plays is phenomenal. So, 
All right, folks, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Until next time, my name is Joe, and you're watching the Joe Wins Project TV where guitars still live and breathe. Don't forget when this video uh, uploads and everything, man, don't forget to check out the new shirts we have available in the store. These is the polo style uh, shirts. Really, really nice shirt, man. I like, I like it a lot. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for being here. I got to scoot and get out of here. Uh, thank you for being here. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.